Hey everybody, check out this sweet new section. This is a hero banner image and it kind of rotates. It has this cool animation. It looked awesome on this website and I thought, heck, this probably looked good on any website. The key is just gonna be having really good visuals, having those perfect images that showcase your brand. This is something that you can add with zero coding experience. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do it. It's literally a copy and paste into your section file and you can have it for free. I hope that you like it. This is gonna include some HTML, some CSS, some JavaScript and some customization of course, because we always want to have that customization in the theme editor. Like I said, you don't have to know how to code. All you have to do is follow along. I hope that you like it. Give me a like, a thumbs up if you find this helpful, and let me know if you have any questions. Let's get into it. Now I've gone ahead and created a duplicate theme called Hero Banner Animation, so I'm gonna be working from that. I'm gonna be working from my local CLI as well, but you don't have to uh, use the local environment. You can just come right in and click on the three dot menu and then click Edit Code. And then what we're gonna wanna do after I click my preview, now what we're gonna wanna do is open up our code and then we can come right here to the sections directory and click new file. I'm gonna call this new hero banner liquid, but you can name the file whatever you'd like. And then what I'm gonna do is come over to my code and I'm going to, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with just my styles. So I'm gonna copy everything between the style tags. And if you're following along, you can just paste the entire file in at once and that might just be an easier way for you to do that. I'm just gonna do it one at a time so that I can talk about it a little bit as we go along. So here at the top, paste the styles in and there's a lot going on here so I'm not going to talk about all of it um, but we have a few uh, media queries and things I might bring up later if you want to customize this further for your own store but once we have these styles in place uh, what I'm going to do is then add our HTML and liquid so I will copy that and there's actually not going to be that much so I'll paste it right here and you'll see I have um, a few things going on, but uh, more or less, it's actually not that much code because what we're gonna do is actually use JavaScript to update a lot of the UI. So that leads me to the next uh, thing we're gonna add in here, which is going to be our JavaScript. So everything between the script tags. Now that's right below our HTML. Now there's a lot of JavaScript code in this one. I'm not gonna talk about it too much because uh, I think it might get confusing, but more or less what we're doing is we're gonna actually add these blocks in our section schema. And if you don't know what blocks are, they're kind of like nested underneath the sections and then we're going to use those blocks we're going to convert them to javascript here and then we're going to be able to add all these event listeners and things so that we can time the uh, transitions and animations from image to image and handle things like clicking and uh, all that sort of stuff so uh, a lot of code here um, but again i'm not going to talk too much about it but what i am going to do is move on to our schema so that's the last thing i'm going to add here so I'll paste that below our JavaScript and you'll see that there's a lot going on. Um, it's also gonna have these, this dummy text and it's gonna have references to the e-bikes that uh, were in the section that we kind of looked at first. So we have our blocks right here and then we have all these uh, custom settings that we are going to allow to customize things like the color and whatnot. So um, I'm also gonna change this to, I'll call it a new banner. And I'm gonna change it as well in the presets. Okay, cool. Now I'm gonna save this. And if we saved everything correctly and added it, then we should be able to come to our theme editor. Uh, and I'm gonna reload this and then I'm gonna try to add this section. So I'm here on my homepage. What I'll do is I guess I'll just uh, hide that for now. Add section and it should be called new banner. Perfect. And you can see immediately as I add it, um, we don't have any images so it doesn't show much, but it has these all these uh, customizations for the color, the hover, the little animation loading, and all of that sort of stuff. So that's good. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is come here and you'll see it by default starts us with these four different uh, blocks. So what I'll do is I'll come into each one and then I'm gonna leave the text because I don't really care that much about it. But what I will do is I will add um, some images here. So the main thing I wanna point about these images is that you can actually add two, uh, one for, the little thumbnail and then one for the actual background image. So I'll show you what I mean here in a moment after I add all these. Okay, cool. So after I save this, you can kind of get a little bit of a preview, but I'm gonna come right here to the uh, real preview. And if I reload this, oh, and I need to, uh, I'm gonna move this up to make sure my new banner is at the top there. I'm gonna save this. 
Okay, cool. So now that I do this, you can see it is working. The font is uh, probably should change the color, but you can see we have like the thumbnail image, this like loading animation here. And um, if I click, it does in fact update as well. So this is everything I want. Let's just make sure that some of these customizations actually work. So I will open this up. I'm gonna change the text color, maybe like a dark red or something just to verify it's working. Um, maybe for like the loader, I will also, the progress bar, I'll do like, I don't know, some dark blue just to verify it is working. And there's one other thing I just noticed is uh, there's not an icon showing up here to uh, indicate that this is a kind of a carousel. So we need to add one uh, piece of code to the theme.liquid. So if you come to the layouts directory, we can open up theme.liquid and then we just need to make sure we paste this between the head tag. And what this is gonna do is actually import a library that gives us these icons. So right here looks good. I'm gonna paste that in. You can see font awesome right here, cool. Now if I save, I should probably come back. And uh, yes, okay, I do see the icons here. I also see um, my font, but I wanna change the uh, heading color. All right, and I went back to my code really quick because I realized I forgot to add the color for uh, this electric dual motor, this heading right here, this text, because I wanna make sure that I have the ability to update that. So what I have it set to right now is to default to white, but let's make sure that that's working. If I change it to aqua. There we go, and it is in fact working. So um, everything looks good. All right, and everything looks like it's working well. We have our loading indicator right here. We have the colored font, uh, colored text, the thumbnail images showing up, the carousel icons and uh, navigation is working. And I just wanna show one last check here on mobile that everything is fully functional and still looks cool. So. This is uh, everything that I wanted to cover in this guide. Now, if you have further customizations that you want to make to this, uh, maybe the, maybe how you display the images on mobile or things like that, well, I can help you out a little bit here. Um, if you're gonna mess with those, then I would recommend coming to this media query, which is where the styles change when it's on a mobile device. And then you can change things with like object fit of how the image is actually displayed on mobile, things like that. Um, but in terms of customizations, I feel pretty good about this for now. And I'm very happy with how this turned out. I hope that you've enjoyed this guide. And if you have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you'd like to see next, and I will see you next time.